Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to RimWorld in what may actually be the final episode of this series. Oh good god. Oh you can just tell. This is when hell freezes over and all the worst things come crawling up. We can't even- oh yep. Yeah. Oh, I thought I felt the game seize up a second there which is an ominous telltale sign of danger. But anyway, yeah, when we last left off we had our first and hopefully only Deaf here. Sir got killed because a certain someone decided to break formation and go and just run off in the middle of a mechanoid raid. Stupidly. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Leaving a gaping hole in our defenses that resulted in us dying horribly. Or, well, almost dying horribly, actually. And I, I think what I get from this is like, this is. It's not bad. But this is not like an end game kind of defensive position here. This is uh This is something we want to save for like early to mid game. After that, like just the number of bodies that get thrown at us is just too much. Oh, and Dylan is pregnant, so that actually even though we're going to get out of here first, it actually occurs to me, let's uh let's go ahead and knock out all our animals and just uh yeah, get them out of here. Get them to sleep. Get them in the bed. We actually, we don't have room for everyone, so someone is going to have to stay behind. And I don't want to spoil things, but I do have someone in mind as a, a worthy sacrifice. I actually have two alternative ideas here, and I'll, each one in their own way is kind of fitting, I think. Which actually also reminds me, where is, ah, a crypto sleep casket. We've got the materials to build one of these things, so... Where would I even put it? We'll put it here, next to the dead. And what is this all made out of? It's made out of marble. I'm, I think we still have marble, right? Yeah, we've still got plenty of marble. We've got enough. Alright, we are going to, uh... Yeah, whoever ends up staying behind, they're gonna become the ancient danger. Or I'll just kill them. Whichever works. Well. Maybe that's uh, spoiling a bit too much, but uh, you know, we'll see is what I'm saying. We'll see what happens. Oh, you know what? Uh, was I talking about it before? Like the real runes mod, or I think that's what it's called. Real runes, realistic runes, something like that. Anyway, it lets you basically upload your, uh, your bases and it'd be kind of cool if I had that available and then, uh, yeah. And maybe someday in a future game, we could encounter, like, this very base, or at least the runes of it anyway. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah. And aside from that... Oh. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. This was not supposed to happen. Not like this. Not like this. Um, oh good, Lee is actually, like, right there. Uh, Lee, dump your shield belt. If you please. Okay, equip the EMP grenades and then get the hell in here. Okay. I mean, this, you know what, this is not gonna be- oh god, they landed right in the- Right in the doorway. Can I, like, say, hey, hold the door open? That'd be great. I would love that. Yeah, and Lee, if you don't mind, just, I mean, just anywhere will do. Alright, lads. Oh god, no, they're they're coming after the... At least, you know what, it's just all ciphers, I mean, we don't, oh, we don't really care that much about ciphers, but if they break the ship, I can't repair it. Because someone didn't invest in the technology. Uh, okay, you guys, uh, you guys circle around. Alright, maybe don't hold the door open. You know what, this has actually not been terrible. Oh god, we're, we're so dead. Oh, this is not how it was supposed to go. Quick, reinforce your comrades. God, you're so slow. Laura! Oh god, I didn't realize there was like one by itself in here. Attack! Attack! 
Oh, why don't I have the run and gun mod? Life would be so much more beautiful if it only I had the run and gun mod, but this is a vanilla play for- Oh god, LJ is down. Lee, nobly sacrifice yourself for getting someone killed. Oh god, no. Stop it. Stop it! Why do you do these things? Alright everyone, run around, run around. Uh, yeah, Lee, you could, like, totally do something more useful, if you don't mind. Good job, masterfully done. I mean, they're- they're breaking things, but they're actually going out of their way to not destroy stuff, so that's kind of- That's kind of them. And, uh, no one- No one has died, so that's, uh... Okay, so that's down. Rescue LJ. Rescue Sam. Okay, well. Okay, that you know what? That wasn't actually that bad. That could have gone much worse. Okay, well. Oh boy. That was close. I mean, uh yeah, everyone needs treatment. I'm I'm sure these guys are smart enough to like actually um you know, treat themselves. Okay, yeah, we do have people, uh... Wait, but Lee was hurt as well. Oh yeah, this is an unowned bed now, so if someone can, uh... Oh! Oh, I forgot about you guys. Yeah, tend to yourself. You don't need tending. Um... E, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Okay, this actually, you know what, this is probably going to be fine, hopefully. I don't think anything- oh god. Oh god! Yorick, quick, rescue Arison. Or wait. Carry her to a crypto sleep casket. Or wait, no, no, there's no time for that. You gotta just drop her right there. No, no. Idiot. You idiots. You absolute idiots. We don't have time for this. Okay, rescue. Okay, you're still gonna... Take her there. Oh, it's cause... God damn it, jumper. Excuse me while I uh, micromanage this because apparently these people are idiots. And no one wants to help each other. Okay, all right, so we are returned now. That was uh, incredibly irritating. Just, uh, just an example of a million colonists all doing really dumb, dumb, dumb stuff. Fortunately though, everyone survived somehow. A little bit of micromanagement, a bunch of raging as people stupidly lied on the floor instead of in their own beds. I mean, we're taking the medical spot that I was trying to send for other people. I mean, oh lordy. It's just... It is true... Oh my god, you idiot! You know what, actually... Actually, no, that's just gonna make people angry and then we're gonna have even more problems. So just punch LJ down. Just get in bed, you idiot. There we go. Perfect. Go to bed. Someone will save you eventually, maybe, possibly. Alright. Uh, Sam is missing a ranged weapon, so let's uh, say, Hey Sam, go grab yourself a gun when you're done sleeping. Uh, okay, I think you're the only one who is missing a gun at this point. Well, the only person who's still capable of walking that's... Missing a gun. Oh no, Laura. Well, you're not capable of walking, so I guess you can be excused in this case. Oh yeah, and Lee does not have a weapon either. It's around here somewhere. You know what? I haven't actually made use of like any of these, uh, any of these useful tools. So, note to self, uh, next human raid that shows up, let's uh, use an insanity lance or two. Or both! Let's use all the insanity lances. Yeah, 
And we've got our like orbital beam targeter thingies. There we go. Beam targeter. Bombardment targeter. Tornado gen. I'm not gonna use the tornado generator. Doomsday rocket launcher. That's also pretty sweet. I think that what I would do with the doomsday launcher is maybe just like leave this door open and have like everyone with a doomsday launcher and just shoot it into this hole. Because that couldn't possibly go wrong. Probably. Oh, that would be fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Oh yeah, Pliskin, can we... What do you mean, need materials? Oh, oh, right, right, right. The whole problem with this is that, uh, the animals... ...are all set. Alright, yeah, let's, uh... Because we're almost out of medicine, so let's uh, knock out the, the animals right now. You know, rather than, rather than wait until it's too late to do anything about it. So, we knock them all out. Oh, well, that's... Uh, that's rather uh, kind. Uh, Lee... Okay, you're actually... All right, uh, carry. Okay, you can't walk. Rick, you can walk, though, so you can, like, totally... All right, you carry her off. All right, yeah. Get all our animals into the, uh... You haven't been anesthetized yet, I thought? Oh, I guess not. Okay, Noah, you carry off the dog. Have you been uh, knocked out? We have not knocked you out yet, okay. All right, and... Oh god, do we not have enough medicine? I mean, need material. I thought I. You've been set. Best quality medicine. The hell are you talking about, Chief? Oh wait, it's because Nelly is doing the job. All right, good. So all the all the animals are safely locked away. We still need to free up one more space. Now, when you say medical emergency, ooh, I never lost nose. My condolences! My condolences, indeed. Alright, so just 1.2 days. Um... What do you mean we don't have marble blocks? Oh wait, also, uh, yeah. I thought- I thought we did have marble. There's marble right there! What- what you talking about? Oh, oh, I see. All right, you know what? Instead of yeah, let's just change things up here. Let's let's get this job done while uh. There we go. Gosh, that took forever. Anyway, yeah, let's uh build all this stuff. All right, we're visiting graves. That's cool. Cool. Uh, people are kind of kind of you know getting into the swing of things. I mean. That was really close. Uh, someone should probably, yeah, repair. Noah, you mind, uh, like, repairing uh, the engines a little bit? I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but, I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to go into space with, like, a, a damaged ship. That just, that just wouldn't make any sense. Is anyone actually actively working? Okay, Sam is still working on that. Okay, you're working on that as well. Okay, well, this is gonna be pretty cool, I think. Oh, I wonder if, um, if I put someone in one of these pods and we had that mod that lets people, um, do, uh, um, what is it? It's realistic runes, where basically we can put our, uh, our ship that we have, um, or our runes, rather, can be uploaded to some kind of, like, server somewhere, and then we'll actually... 
Like we could, we could encounter it again. Other people, you watching at home right now could encounter this base at some point in the future. Seems kind of cool to me. So perhaps, uh, perhaps I'll do that. Yeah, I mean that, that might be nice. But it would be interesting if like we could save the runes and then like this actual ship stays here. Also, God, this fallout's lasting forever, isn't it? All right, we've also got our traps. Do I want to try putting down like one more trap? Probably not. Everything's getting repaired. I mean, you can tell we're basically down to like just about nothing left to do when we're just repairing this stuff. Uh, Rick, what you doing? Let's, uh, let's actually, yeah, restrict everyone back to just the indoor area. We don't want to go too far. Okay, uh, okay, 18 hours. So we're gonna get, like, one more raid, right? Probably, maybe, possibly. You know what, I'll cut ahead just to make sure that we do, in fact, get, uh, get that raid. So, uh, see you shortly, like. Alright, well, we didn't have to wait terribly long. A group of mechs from a hive have arrived in their transportation -y pods. So cool. Let's, uh, get in on this. Uh, however... Oh god, did I actually get everyone to equip their guns before... Everyone is equipped, right? Pretty sure I've got everyone rearmed. Looks like it so far. Okay, and everyone is mostly healed. All right, D, let's uh, let's do it right this time. I'll have you uh, stand front and center. Wait, that's it? Just uh, two centipedes, three centipedes, and a. Uh, that's it. D did I miss some? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. There's, uh... A couple. We I've gotta be missing some, right? Oh, wait, yeah, there's a couple up here and also some more dead bodies over here doing... dead body things. And, alright, well, let's, uh... Let's get everyone all positioned here. Places, people. There we go. Get everyone all safely lined up. LJ can go back here into the safety of the door. The Outlanders are fleeing. I feel bad for them. I, r I really do. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the life they chose to live. Well, I guess they didn't really choose that life, but, you know, it, it chose them. You know, let's try to have a certain symmetry here. All right, wait for it. Beautiful. Oh, LJ, what are you doing? You're still getting here, apparently. You know what, LJ? You can uh, stand there and you can... Okay, here we go. This is where the fun begins, folks. Good shot. Masterfully done. Totally missed. Oh, God. Come on, come on. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Oh, yeah, baby. Still, though, I mean, this, uh, this has been a surprisingly, oh, balls. I mean, yeah, this was surprisingly easy. Like, I don't know, maybe, yeah, good, good time for that. Oh, a Resurrector Mex, oh, we could, well, no, we, don't. we really can't fit anyone else in the pod, so. Even though... Even though it's like the morally right thing to do, we uh, we really can't afford. Oh, balls and people are on fire. Mally, get the hell back in there. Get the hell back in there. There'll be time. There'll be time to put LJ out. LJ, stop drop and roll. Stop drop and roll, buddy. God, if only, if only pawns were smart enough to know stop drop and roll. Okay, yeah, we've gotta... We gotta put that fire out. Okay, good. 
All right, everyone, put that fire out. Uh, LJ, you can uh, you can go ahead and just drop the EMP grenade right there. And then go ahead and rescue LJ. Well, that ended up... Oh my god, there's more of them! <laughs> just when I thought we were out, they pulled me back in. Um... Yeah, this thing's got an Inferno Cannon. I'm not gonna... I'm not risking that. Okay, get in there, D. Get in there. No, get... Oh, we're on fire! No, shoot... Shoot the EMP. Shoot the EMP, man! Okay, well, that worked out nicely. And if you don't mind putting out the fire, that would be also great. I mean, especially because it's on our sandwich. Or, you know, whatever that meal is. All right, good. Okay. All right, so we took we took some beatings there. But uh, overall, things worked out pretty nicely. Again, I'm gonna cut away. I'm just gonna clean every... Actually, wait, what am I doing? There's no way. No way that we're... Uh, um... All right, let's uh, let's just go from like front to uh, front to back here, and we'll uh, we'll drop everybody in, because surely, surely the game would not be so cruel as to throw a raid at us eight hours from launch. Now, this is RimWorld, so you like totally know it's definitely going to throw a raid at us you know that quickly wait are we actually gonna have enough room to fit everyone in here without uh let's see only Pliskin and Lee are going to going to stay out so I will uh, again I'm gonna cut away while we make our final preparations and I will see you shortly well it's been a long road getting here this is it. The final, final moments. Bet you really, really wish you didn't have that mental break now, didn't you, Lee? Because there's only one space left on that ship. And if you thought I was going to take you after what you did, you are sadly mistaken. Oh, oh wait, what's that? I was actually wrong and there's actually two spaces left on the ship. And where, wait, was there? I think I miscounted. Um, somewhere around here. <laughs> Where did I? No, everything. Okay, yeah, there is actually, in fact, just the one space left on the ship. And well, because of Lee's actions, I don't know if I want Lee to join us because that just. Oh wait, no, there is actually enough space. All right, never mind. All right, everyone get in. Get in your get in your pods. Let's go. Let's go, people. There won't be any cask of amontillado stuff going on here today. Though you got to admit that would have been a pretty badass ending. Or alternatively, Pliskin heroically sacrificing himself for the rest of the crew. But fortunately, we didn't need any sacrifices today, so let's launch this baby. Here goes as the screen slowly fades to white. Mmm, yeah, look at that. Nobody left behind. Yeah, your AI will now try to guide the ship to a safe place. It might find a prosperous planet for you in this system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. It might even decide to hide under ice on an asteroid for a few thousand years. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, we did it. That's the end of our campaign. It's been good. I've had a good time. I hope you had a good time with this as well. And uh, not to worry, we've got our next um, our next playthrough already lined up. I've got uh, an idea that I've been working on for a little bit that I hope um, I hope it'll go well. It's a bit familiar, a bit new. So there is that, but I have to say, this was a, a really exciting campaign. I actually, I honestly thought for a moment there we weren't going to make it through. 
because the whole the whole thing started falling apart. Our test run of our defenses, it worked perfectly, but then the actual the actual fight or the actual encounter itself did not go well at all. So yeah, but we survived 15 days of brutal, brutal, unrelenting hell. We slogged through it all and we made it back to the stars. It's funny, really. We started from nothing. Just some naked guy in the middle of the forest and... Look at us now. Winning. Lots of winning. Anyway, yes. I guess there's not really much else to say beyond that, so rather than dragging this episode out any longer, I will say, as always, thank you all for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Come